For a long time, I've played physically capable characters in Project Zomboid. You know, like someone who can hop a fence, bash a skull in, and jog for longer than 30 seconds. But this time, it's gonna be different. Instead of going for that, I'm instead gonna be taking perks that make me rank at the bottom of the food chain. Now, here's the catch. That lack of brawn has to pull somewhere else. And that very thing would be the brain. So, here is Hugo Dankworth. Just about the closest you can get to a stereotypical nerd. Now, his chances of survival, uh, they're probably not too high. But what he does have is promise. And that promise would be absolutely beautiful to see get fulfilled. Now, we can't take on hordes, it's just a bat. So we're gonna need to think smarter as well, using explosives, improvised weapons, and just about anything to help equalize the playing field. And so, I cordially invite you on this journey of growth and defeat. On your boy, Hugo Dankworth. Alrighty guys, welcome to the new series on the channel. This time we're doing something a little bit different. Most of the time, I played as the most athletic, the most fit, the most likely to survive survivors. But now, I'm starting at zero. Now, of course, starting at zero is subjective, because what I make, uh... Oh man, that's not good. I don't have... I don't have the Terra Zombies mod, so I don't need to really worry about that much. But what I don't have in brawn or fitness, I have in knowledge. And knowledge is gonna be power in this series. Anyways, here we are. We spawned in a restaurant. We spawned in with the, I guess, random selection mods. I have a couple of mods that should make a Brainiac run pretty fun. First of all, I did take, uh, Engineer. So we can make some impromptu bombs and weapons if we can get our hands on them. Anyways, ooh, fried chicken. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we, we look like the stereotypical nerd. Kind of got that Urkel look. Sadly, there's no suspenders in the game world, so I would totally rock them. We even got a little fanny pack. I decided to give myself a fanny pack because it has barely any weight reduction. We got some fried chicken and an entire egg carton. We're not going to be able to carry much. That's another thing. So we're going to have to stay pretty low on that. Oh, there's so much good stuff here. I might need to drop something. Oh, yeah, this is all good stuff. We got ourselves a bread knife. We're looking good. I'm going to leave the coffee. I don't think we really need that right now. Uh, corn. Yes, that is pretty useful. We already are filled up, dude. <laughs> oh, there's actually aluminum. We can use that to make a bomb. Or at least start to try and make one. Where is that bad boy? Yeah, give me that. Can we use a mop as a weapon? No, sadly we cannot. This is not going to end up too well, though. We seriously need to work on our strength and our fitness, because right now we are an absolute dead end, alright? We might have the knowledge, but that doesn't really matter if you get exhausted as soon as you step outside. I'm actually going to drop this bread knife, and I'm going to favor... Oh my god, there's so much stuff in there. I need this all. I might... No, the egg carton is really good. That's a lot of food right there. Oh man, this is bad. Okay, well, at least we can get a... A frying pan, that's very nice. We're gonna need a bag or something that we can store some of this junk in. Yeah, we're already gonna be overweight. Oh, yeah, it starts. Okay, we're gonna go absolutely pig out on the stuff here. Because we are underweight. So that means we're not gonna be able to survive as long in, uh, you know, any other situation. So eating all these pickles and stuff right now is gonna be nice. We'll actually keep the pickles on us, because that is non-perishable, believe it or not. Yes, we must eat to get stronger. Alrighty. We have absolutely no- Oh my god, there's so much food here. We actually do have a tote bag, which is gonna be really nice to have. We'll actually dump everything in our uh, little fanny pack here, and we'll put it in our tote bag. So yeah, we, we kind of got a little arsenal going. That should help us out quite a bit when it comes to weight. Yes siree, okay. We're actually starting to get a little bit of a, a basis going. We'll actually keep the frying pan equipped as well, and that should put us right over. We'll take the mustard with us. I think we're going to leave everything else. As long as we got the bare essentials, we got enough food to last us quite a while, alright. And there's already a zombie. I don't know where the hell I'm at. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem. We can't take on a lot of zombies. <laughs> I mean, we're not- we're not pushovers. Okay, we kind of are. We- we are very wimpy. We are- Oh my god, look how slow I swing this thing! We might need to dip out. Okay, no, we got this! I want that duffel bag. That's actually a really good spawn. Okay, boys, we got this. Also, all loot settings is set to extremely rare, so we're gonna need to worry about that as well. If I can get my hands on that duffel bag, that would be very nice. To be honest, 
I could get one of these cars to work too, we would be working with a little bit of extra gasoline. Now, my bucket list includes quite a few things. First things first, we need a hammer, we need a welding helmet, we need a welder's torch, and we also need a screwdriver. If we can get those, we can start to set up the basis for what our character will become. Because, while well, we might not be good in, uh, you know, physical confrontations, I will be able to make big guns. Guns. Good old badonkadonks. Not just melee weapons, but pistols. Pump action shotguns. Scrap weapons used from the power of air. Okay? So if we can get our hands on that, we're going to become very powerful. This little brainiac right here is going to go places, alright? Because right now, we are very weak. So let's see if we can take him out. There's a lot of zombies coming in. There we go. I mean, as long as we take it slow and take it calm, take it cool, we should be all right. We got this, boys. Ah, uh, I'm going to miss being an athletic character, dude. <laughs> we could literally only fight one-on-one -on -one at this point. But just like that, we got our hands on a duffel bag. So that's going to be real nice. We'll actually just chuck our entire tote bag in there. We don't really care about much right now. There we go. Okay, that's going to set us a little underweight. Let's just continue. I would like to save the frying pan, but right now, let's see if we can get one of these vehicles to start. Oh, please. Also, I am running, um, persistent hordes. So, around the map, there are big hordes of around 200 zombies that are just all clumped up together. So, we're gonna need to be pretty... There they are! That's what I'm talking about! That's what we need to avoid! <gasps> okay, we'll just keep the, keep the pressure going. Holy hell! That's a lot of them, man. Oh, buddy. They're coming down. Yeah. Yeah, we need to worry about those persistent hordes. Also, I have the helicopters set to often. Or not often, sometimes. So I think past the first day, it'll continue. Oh, please don't see me, man. I... Oh, they are totally heading my way. Disinfect it. Yes, that'll be good for us. We only need one. We gotta maintain a, lo a light load. Now, if this is... I don't know where I'm at right now, but if this is a hardware store, this might be nice. Lady, I really don't want to fight you. I'm just going to shove you over. Okay, I, I am not a fighting person. I, I really am not. I cannot do this. I am a fast learner, so I will pick up on this stuff pretty quick. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Okay, well, it was nice living here for a hot second. I honestly don't know where I'm at, but currently... Yeah, you know, we just have a few zombies. Nope, 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 that's no problem. Are we... I don't know where I'm at. And they are slightly faster than me. Huh. Plant this little bit of a doozy. We're fine! Oh my god, we're... We're not fine. You know, I would be jogging right now if I had the chance to... Oh my god. Please. Please. Hugo. Hugo Dankworth. You got this, buddy. No worries. We just gotta avoid, um, death pit. You know how it is sometimes. As long as we walk, we can't get exhausted. Is what I will tell myself until the end of time. We need to lose this big horde. Oh my. <laughs> the thing is, I have it set to random spawn, so I don't even know where the hell I'm at. I don't know if I'm in some kind of, like, subsector of Muldra or any other town, as a matter of fact. I honestly don't recognize my whole situation at hand. How bad's it look? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. We should just be able to lose them. Give them the old, uh... We'll give them the old bait and switch, alright? We'll go through these trees. I am very scared of exhausting myself because... I don't have a lot of stamina. I will get exhausted very quickly. And as soon as I get winded, that's the end of, uh... Hugo Dankworth. And I want Hugo Dankworth to make it into the end game. You know, on the previous series with the Resident Evil thingy, I wasn't ready. I, I mean, I, was, I didn't really feel the end game with that guy. But Hugo, I'm prepared to, to get him all the way, okay? We need to level up a lot of perks. And I feel like that sense of progression is what's going to keep me going, you know? Because we are very weak. We are so weak that we're not going to be able to do much, actually. So if we can slowly... Become absolute gods. Chiseled gods. I would like to get strong and fit as well. Seems like we were able to lose most of them. Let's go check inside. Hugo Dankworth rolls the D20. Hugo Dankworth 
rolls a natural 20 on the window roll. Hugo Dankworth just rolled a natural zero on the freaking luck skill. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. You think they're going very good for us right now. I love Kentucky. <laughs> oh, they will rue the day that they have messed with Hugo. I actually f f freaking can't believe that I, I just got yet. Okay. Maybe I'll do the little lispy voice a little bit more, because we are a nerdy character. We, we are the brains, okay? We just don't have any brawn to help, you know, equalize the brains. I can't believe I just got a damn alarm. Yep, there's a Mega Horde coming up north. This might be a blessing in disguise, all things considered. Now we won't have to worry about them. I actually can't believe I just got a, got an alarm. What the hell, dude? Okay. There's a dead person in here. I rolled a nat zero on that one. I'm very weak, so actually popping open a window is going to be very difficult for me. Come on, buddy. Come on, Hugo. Please, man, I know. You're about as weak as a soggy, wet paper towel. Oh, come on, man. There we go. That's a nat 20. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, it'd be... It'd just be... Actually, it would be a nat 20, because usually it takes a few tries. But for my boy Hugo, it took him one, and he's in. I do like those sneakers, though. Though, I do have shoes on, which are also pretty nice. Nah, give me them sneakers. I need to be fast, baby. <laughs> you look like such a dork. That's... Hello? Nope, we gotta go. Yep, lots of zombies are coming in. Please, I just want a place to sleep and maybe a cool watch or something. That'd be pretty cool. We actually can't fight this. Oh my god. Okay, so, Hugo, my boy. You're not looking too hot right now. Uh... How many zombies? I mean, we are actually leveling up or sneaking and stuff very nicely. We even got a little bit of strength, hey. Just by bashing in a couple heads, you know, we are able to get up our strength level by quite a bit. I, I don't know where I'm at, and that's a bit of a problem. Like, we might be inconspicuous and graceful, okay? We are, we are the stealth ninja, okay? Being pushed around, being shoved into lockers has taught us the art to blend in with our... Hot pink shoes and our hot pink shirt with our very light blue shorts and our yellow socks. We can blend in like a shadow in the night. Okay. <laughs> I am screwed. Uh, we'll just continue following this road until... Yes. Yes. Please, man. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. Come on, pop open the window. Nat, nat 20, nat 20, nat 20. God dang it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go hop inside this house, though, and then slip out the back if I can, and it seems like I can't. I honestly don't know where I'm at. Maybe West Point? That's what I'm guessing with all these fences and stuff and the amount of zombies actually in the area. Bugger off! Man, I, I am I am sad. I am absolutely sad. <laughs> We're probably on the verge of a mental collapse at this point. I sure hope... Wait, maybe we're in... That's a survivor home up there. That could be nice. Okay, we have to buckle down. We gotta take out a whole two zombies. Let's do it. Come on, Hugo Cumberworth. You are but a ranger in the night of the living. You are the best there ever was. No one can ever top you. Okay, we actually got this. Maybe, um, maybe I'm giving Hugo a little bit of, uh, I don't know. He's definitely, he's doing it. He's doing it. Two zombies? No problem for your boy. He's able to just stomp him out in seconds flat. Look at him go. He's a natural at this. Digital watch? Yes. Thank you. I needed that bad. Okay. 2.20 p.m. We're doing all right. I want to check out the survivor home up here. Now, getting into it is going to be a little bit more of a problem. I still can't believe we got a dang alarm that quick, man. You know, the funny thing is I did take lucky. <laughs> I'm feeling anything but lucky at this point. Okay, let's see if we can hop on in here. There's a zombie. God damn it. I'm so weak. So feeble. So fragile. Oh my god. Hey, bro, you got some keys for your boy Hugo? Oh yeah, look at this. Sneak master. He never saw it coming. Okay, there's a few of them. Okay, as long as there's only one, we should be alright. I would love to use a fence strap, but using the fence would probably be a bit of a more of a detriment. Come on. Bash his darn caboosin. There we go. 
Sorry, park ranger lady, but uh, things are going to have to be a little bit different with me in charge. <laughs> okay. Okay, that zombie didn't see me. Shove her over, please. God dang. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The power of kitchen cutlery. No, it's not cutlery. It's just an appliance. No, it's not an appliance either. An appliance would be like a microwave. Kitchen tool. Kitchenware. That's what it is. Okay, step back, please. I don't want to use my full force. You do not want to see me at 100%. When I'm at 100%, I get angry. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, please. Yes. Hugo. You might be a better fighter than half the people I've ever damn seen in my life. Look at him go. He's a natural. Holy hell. I'm, I'm actually really surprised at how strong you are at zero strength and zero fitness. I was expecting a whole lot worse, to be honest. Give me that yin and yang symbol. That goes right in. Got ourselves a nice little thing here. We'll actually be taking the uh, watches as well. We need to level up our electrical skill as much as we can. So where was that bad boy? Um, Right here. Cool. Make sure it doesn't have an alarm on it. That's always a bit of a problem. Okay, cool. This one doesn't. Let's go check the one actually on our character. Set alarm. Nothing. Okay. Let's go hop inside real quick. Take it calm. Take it cool. Let's hope we don't... What the fuck is going on? Are you kidding me? Am I just cursed? Am I cursed to trigger alarms? What the hell? What the... Fuck! Okay, well, I guess we're leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. Man, Hugo Dankworth, the world's most unlucky and lucky man. It's, no, it's not even lucky. There's nothing that would offset the off uh, unlucky with lucky. Let me in. I can't believe I just triggered. Nope, we're getting out of here. Uh, <laughs> Just when you get the semblance of a plan, you get smacked in the face. That frying pan is just about useless now. Man, we really are, uh, we're struggling. We're struggling to make even the smallest advancements right now. We haven't even gotten specked into the tech tree yet, and we're already getting, getting just assaulted by alarms. God. <laughs> we're gonna be alright, though. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's not dying. No, that's actually one thing I am terrible at, is not dying. Whatever. Let's continue following this road down here. Maybe we'll come across something cool. <laughs> if I had a smoke bomb right about now, I could totally just evade all of them very easily. But I don't, because I don't have the materials necessary for that. And I probably won't have the necessary... Oh man, I can't even talk. I don't even have the necessary materials to make any big boom 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 bombs, and I'm not even sure if I'd want a big boom bombs. Big boom bombs seem like a little bit of a hassle. Okay, let's jog like five feet down here to try and lose a lot of them. Okay, we got another home up here. Let's not screw this up. Our frying pan is not looking good, okay? And we kind of need this to make some dank stir fries. Okay, dank worth making some dank stir fry. I actually want to check out the shed real quick, so... Alrighty, lady. I like your choice in glasses, but I'm gonna have to take you out real quick. Man, we're looking pretty nice, though. You gotta love the color palette. I don't even know. We, we probably looking like a rainbow at this point. Come on, hop on over. I mean, you know, one thing we don't have... I mean, one thing we do have is just absolute style in our haircut. Look at this bad boy. I mean, it's... Okay, lock it. Yin and yang symbol. Anything in the mailboxes? No. Alrighty, let's continue on down. Oh, we're getting we're getting uh, real tired here. A whole five carry capacity, and we are already zonked out. Okay. Well, it seems clear. Still don't know where the hell I am. There's a van down there. That van could be helpful. I want to check out the shed, though. The shed might have some goodies for us. And my god, do I love me some goodies. Okay. Single lady. No problem for your boy Hugo. I'll actually stomp her out with uh, my feet and then try and save up on durability with this frying pan for a little bit. There we go. Man, it don't even feel like we're a zero strength character. We're doing a lot better than half my people would. Oh, I like his stash. So I have to take him out. 
We really can't wear anything right now because we are very exhausted and it's almost 90 degrees out. Oh, hold on. Wristwatch. I will be taking all these. I need this uh, XP. Of course, we don't even have uh, anything resembling that yet. I mean, we need a screwdriver. So if we can get one in here, that'd be very nice. We might actually... You know what? Screw the random rolls. We're just gonna bash it down. What's, what's the worst thing that could happen? Just like that, we are in. Welding rods, cigarettes. I don't smoke. My lungs, my body is a temple. And if I were to smoke or indulge in addictive substances, that could affect my mind development and my brain growth. No alarm? No alarm. That's what I like to hear. Now, while everyone else was out partying and having a good time, Hugo studied the door flash. <laughs> Nothing. See that? They don't teach you that in school. That's not- You get self-taught. Look at that! Hey, lady was here. I was able to pick her out a mile away. Time to die, lady. I would wear that hat, but, um, I like my cut a whole lot better. <laughs> oh, yes. Goodbye, lady. Goodbye. Man, Hugo is really... He's taking it far. Cooking for beginners? Ah, uh, I guess it's something to read. We'll drop the tote bag on the floor right now, too, so we can get that all in the duffel bag. That'd be pretty nice to have. Okay, we were able to read that angler magazine just like that. Let's go grab everything in our tote bag, loot all. We'll have probably the banana right now. The egg cartons actually last quite a bit, but we could make some killer stir fry. Let me tell you what now. Alrighty, good old banana, never hurt anyone. Now, we need to keep our eyes out for metalworking for beginners. That is what's going to help us out quite a bit. I don't know if we're going to do a lot of urban living. Because, you know, um, not really designed for that. But, of course, urban living does come with the advantage of getting loot. Loot is very rare. So, I would say so. Hey, we got a new frying pan. That's a new weapon, basically. Drop this on the floor. This frying pan is kaput. Got a new can open there. Uh, the pepper, honestly, I don't really want to take. We really need to be cautious with what we're taking with us. Okay, let's just have a nice drink right out of the tap, baby. Oh, yeah. Oats. Yes, that's good. A single bowl, we can make a salad out of that. Sugar, we'll eat right now. Tea bag will keep on us just for the clutch moments, and we will take the empty mug. We're probably going to be overweight for quite a while. There's honestly nothing I can do about that. Uh, until we actually work out and, you know, get get that bread. For now, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon as... Actually, strike level's looking pretty good. We're almost a third of the way to level numero uno. The sad thing is... Ooh! 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 This is actually a good time to get some XP's. So let's go shut the curtains. And let's learn, baby! Yeah! Okay, we were only able to get a little bit, but as we pick up on more stuff stronger we will become as a whole. The bigger our mind grows, the longer our life expectancy increases. Honestly, we had a pretty good start, is what I would say, if uh, I didn't come across two damn alarms all in one go. Okay, we got a few zombies up around here. Let's just continue hopping through the area. We got a lot of food with us. Okay, so that's pretty nice. I might have my fried chicken right now, dude. That sounds really nice. Actually, no, we ought to eat the canned. No, we ought to eat the fried chicken first. Who am I? What am I talking about? Okay, come on, baby. Pop it open. Man, I'm really struggling to open this window right now. <laughs> please. Please, man. It's just a single window. Oh, no, we're not in. Okay. This is what I call window break jutsu. <laughs> Hiya! There we go. We're in, baby. Only took a little bit of a uh, bonking. All right, do a nice little room clear. Oh yeah, there's some zombies in here. Okay, well obviously one of them's at the door. We'll let the one knocking outside in real quick. Nice green sweater. I respect the cut. Hey, I'm out here. Yeah, come on, let's go. Tussle with the muscle, dude. Oh, another one. Come on. Hey, yeah, I'm right here. God, I'm powerful. I am just taking names right now. Farming for intermediates, newspaper. I'll take the newspaper. 
We really can't carry much with us, man. We may need to stop taking food, is what I'm thinking. Any more food we see, we just eat right off the bat. We need to gain weight. Alright, we are at a very low 70 pounds. Uh, coffee, can of oats. Those can of oats are really nice to have. Something with the, the coffee's pretty good too, man. Ah, we'll leave the coffee. We really can't take much with us. We're already, like, essentially overweight. Okay, nothing with the door flash. Disinfectant, we already got those. What I will do is actually rip this sheet up real quick, though. That's gonna be nice to have. Um, we're also gonna take soap. Okay, I feel like that'll be nice to have. Door flash. Yep. <laughs> uh, I opened the- Wow, you are really delayed. Man, we're already overweight. Okay. See you frickin' later, dude. Ooh, digital watch. Yoink that. Anything good in here? Pencil. I'm looking for goodies right now. CD player. Yeah. I, we might need to try and get a vehicle. I think that's going to be the plan. And try and make it to a warehouse to where I can get a propane torch. Welding stuff. All that. Because what I would like to work up to is this homemade double barrel shotgun. If I'm able to make one of these bad boys, we are going to be cooking with gasoline, baby. Because this actually requires scrap shells, which I can make pretty easily. Um, let's see here. Shell. Yeah, shrapnel shells. Very easy to make. All we need is basically nails or scrap metal. So, if we can get our hands on that, we would essentially have a shotgun that we could use a whole lot of the time. So, working our metalworking skill is going to be real nice. I might actually just leave everything inside this car. Wow, this... This is a really powerful van. How's it looking, though? We might not be able to get into it for a while because we don't have any mechanic skill. But uh, let's just go check it, you know. Make sure everything's good in the neighborhood. It doesn't have gas. And some of the wheels are a little bit iffy. Okay, that could be something to work towards. We're going to check this house, and I think this will be it. This is, this is where we're going to chill out for the day. Just make sure things go easy. We'll put the mug in our bag so we can kind of reduce weight a little bit. We can't carry much with us right now, so... Just putting everything we don't need in our main inventory into the duffel bag is gonna be nice. Metalworking magazine, yoink that. Okay, let's see here. We might be able to- ooh, cooler, that's pretty nice. Uh, matches, empty bowl, can opener. Ooh, water bottle, yeah, that's actually really nice. We'll drop the mug then. We don't need too much water, so we'll drop this. Keep the peanuts with us though, yoink those. Oh, yeah. Carrots and peas. You know what? Let's have a nice little bountiful harvest. Yeah, we can read for probably like a couple of hours in our nice little bedroom here. And yeah, we'll just wait her up. Crowbar. Uh, we'll take it. Oh, man, we are so overweight, dude. We are going to break our damn brittle bones. We're not made to take this much weight. <laughs> It's like doing perpetual squats right now, man. Another duffel bag. What the hell? I mean, it's literally useless to us because we're not able to use it. But I think we're going to go chill in here. Okay. So let's go read our cooking book for, I would say, till like 930. Okay. And then we'll make some fine cuisine. Okay. We read a little bit. We'll leave it in the uh, thing here. Let's go make a nice little stir fry. So let's add in some random vegetables. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Uh, we actually gotta wait for the peas to get on frozen, but what we can do right now is actually go grab the egg carton. We'll go pop this bad boy open. It weighs about one pound. Eh, it weighs a little bit less, but let's go add in some eggs. Remember, we gotta beef this damn thing up if we want anything good, right? So I think we can add in four eggs before it gets in a little bit too crazy. So another egg. Yes, there we go. And we actually saved up on a little bit of weight as well. The peas are almost done. This is going to be power. Fuel for the brain, okay? How's our cooking skill looking already? Should be going at a... Hey, look at that. Almost 5 out of 75. Okay, let's go wait a little bit. These peas should almost be done. We're actually getting damaged from just having nine weight right now. Oh, we are pathetic. Okay, the peas are done. Let's add it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's actually giving us some unhappiness. Huh. Maybe... 
Did I add in bleach? I didn't add in bleach, right? Okay, no, we're good. We'll eat these peas. Now, this is actually going to make us a little bit unhappy. But we should be okay. Honestly, I don't really care. Just pop it in. We got some fried chicken to uh, offset that. I'm hungry, bro. And we need calories for brain power. Now, getting a crowbar is actually really damn good. I might keep this as my main weapon. Now, the good thing about the crowbar is that it is really beefy. So it's going to be able to take a lot of damage before anything bad happens to it. Okay. We'll also have the fried chicken right now. Might as well eat it. Okay, we really need to gain weight. I want some, you know, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of padding for this. So let's wait. It's done. Oh, yeah. Give me this bad boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, this is a meal for a king. Eating right out of the damn frying pan right off the oven oh yeah that's good that's real good that'll be that's good calories that's good food we're a little bit sad but hey that's fine in my book okay so i think we're doing pretty damn good we're definitely a lot overweight we're probably gonna need to find a, either a working vehicle or we're gonna need to make a you know base camp but hey we're alive let's just uh take a nice little look at our character see how much we've evolved over the day of course, I don't expect any big changes to happen overnight. But yeah, definitely a lot tougher than we were before. Slightly stronger. Actually, very much stronger. We're almost halfway there to level 1. Anyways, if you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me just turn this TV off before it attracts any zombies. And yeah, hopefully we'll have a good night. I'll see y'all in the next episode.